Hey everybody, it's Brett, and I'm at the spring, but today is a little bit different situation because I can't park over here because there's so much snow. So I've got to stay parked kind of half into the road and hope, hope to hell I stay okay. But <clears throat> I wanted to show you the ice balls. Nobody's been in here since it snowed a lot. And whenever, whenever there's snow and the water is splashing, it gets all these cool ice balls. And this isn't as cool as I've seen it. I've seen it with great big ice balls all over here. Which is really neat. But I gotta step on this now. Can you see all those little? It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh shit. Look at that. Just about dumped me right into the middle of there. There we go. Stay, baby. Hear the river down there? Uh, you can see the river down there now. This road is so quiet, there's not very many houses on it. The sun's starting to get higher in the sky. Shining through the trees. Six gallons done. A whole lot more to go. Okay. Very good. Hey everybody, I wanted to ask a favor. I know a lot of you have purchased my millet hole pillows and really love them. But the thing is that I don't have much money to advertise and so I rely on you to tell your friends and family and everyone you know about my millet hole pillows. And um, 
Yeah, I just really appreciate that a lot. Business is kind of slow this time of the year, and so if you could like get on the internet or get on the phone or whatever and tell people about my pillows and other products too, because a lot of you love my rollers and my foot friend massage tool. And for the rest of you that don't have my products, <clears throat> man, you should really get going on buying some and using them. Uh, thanks. Links in description box down below. So far, no cars have even passed yet, but we'll see how it goes. Usually at least a couple will pass, but I'm uh, hoping none. If somebody comes barreling around that corner, it could be trouble. But hopefully... Generally, people don't haul ass on this road, especially if there's snow on it. So I've got some tension in these neural lymphatic spots right up against the sternum in between the ribs. You've got these spots that can get sore, known as neural lymphatic places, points. Could just be like tendinous tissue that's sore that's connecting to the sternum. Let's do the other side now, I'll show you. Did you know that you can take a live self-massage class with me online and learn everything that you need to to be able to do this kind of work? Anytime, anywhere, even if you're out in the ice and snow. And I also offer holistic consultations for anyone that would like to learn natural healing, all the things that I've learned for 30 years. And the links are in the description box down below. You know how you get a song in your head and it just won't go away? I won't sing it to you. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's a Lionel Richie song and it has to do with the ceiling. <laughs> I was just at the laundromat and they were playing it on the intercom. In fact, that's what's going on right now. My clothes are being washed at the laundry mat. Ten gallons done. Still a bunch more to go. Plus all that. So finally a truck did come around that corner and blew by me. Four wheel drive, no problem. Here comes another one. Cross your fingers. That was a grid. <laughs> so I know that guy and he waved and I was so busy filming I didn't even wave back because I didn't recognize it was him until it was too late. <laughs> 17 done. She thinks I'm crazy, but I'm just growing old. Hey, 19. No, we don't dance together. No, we don't talk at all. Please take me along when you slide on down. So as soon as we're all done with the one galloners, then we're on the home stretch. Now this last one galloner has a little leak right on the top of it, and that's why I put a red mark on it. So we don't fill that one all the way. The leak is right there. We only fill that one to about there. And then we don't have any problemas. So, that's good. Let's 
put the lid on that. And now the home stretch. Let's see if this will fit. Oh no. See that that stone, it's not in a good place for this big old mother. I don't know if that's gonna fly. We'll see. So while that's filling, let's go for a walk down the road. And uh, whenever I do this, I think about my dog, because I've walked on this road with her so many times. And I miss her so much, my special chakra. Some of you are always thinking, when is he going to get another dog? Not now. I'm not really wanting one right now. I'm needing to get strong and a dog takes a lot of your energy and your time. And if you're not ready to do it right, don't do it at all. That's what I think. And there's lots of feeding troubles in my mind in regards to dogs because the foods that you can buy for dogs are not generally very good. They're all mass produced. And that goes the same for humans, meat specifically. So pretty. I love the roads going through the pines here in North Carolina. Of course, anywhere in the country is always beautiful. Anywhere in the world, nature. Look at that. Pines to the skies. The sun peeking through the trees. There you go. That'd be a nice thumbnail right there. So down here at the bottom of the road, on the left hand side, there's a property that's being turned into a permaculture property. And I know this because when the people bought the property in the big, like a year and a half ago, they were out here in the front yard planting, I believe, some blueberries and a few other things just to kind of break the ice, no pun intended, for this day, and get things started. So now they've had some time to work on it, and it's coming along. They've cut down a bunch of trees and milled them for various projects that they'll be doing. see a lot with the snow but there are various trees planted and things they're getting going here and then over here 
It's kind of just a big grassy area and trees where it gets mowed. And Chakra and I, I would walk barefoot through the grass with Chakra and she'd run and play. She was my girl. So hopefully the uh, water container didn't shift on me. Sometimes it does that and I'll come walking down here and get back and then we're still only a gallon or two full because it moved on me. Oh man, I can see it from here. It did exactly what I was hoping it wasn't going to do. I don't really want to move the rock because most people are using gallons to fill. And then they just have to move the rock back into a good position. So That's it folks. We're all fold up. So I think that what I'm going to do is just back the car and whoop it to about there and then go. I don't want to get the rear tires off the edge of the road. Although I don't think that would be too much of a problem. It is kind of slippery. I have front wheel drive and who knows. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Get out of here. Ooh. Please take me along when you slide on down. Bum, bum, bum. 